This is Jay Teaches Reading for All, Lesson 72, where we'll be looking at the E-A sound, not making the long E-E sound, but making the short E sound, eh, as in bread, or the long A sound, as in pear. And again, for those teachers who would like to review the combination the combinations of these letters that we've been studying. Um, trying to get this on. I think I got it. You can click on pause, get a snapshot, and do your review. Okay, speaking of review, we're going to review now the last couple lessons. Lesson 70 was more O-U and O-W words. So, students, say these before I do. Mouth. South, mound, round, sound, ground, cow, owl, fowl, prowl, Howl, growl. And teachers, if you'd like to have the student read these to you, go right ahead and press pause and have them do that. I'm not sure, <laughs> memory problems again, whether... I reminded you when we were at Lesson 70 to do a spelling test. Um, if you didn't do the spelling test and you'd like to, you know, press pause again and go ahead and do that. I've underlined a few words that I would put on the spelling test if I were giving it. Uh, I think I got six words here. So you might want to do that. Now we are going to get the sentences in view because I want you teachers to have the students read these to you now. Press pause. And reviewing lesson 71, we've got the OO making the uh sound instead of the oo sound like in moon. We've got the uh sound like in book and good. So students say these before I do. Book, I gave that away. Cook. Took. Croak. <laughs> Let me back up. <laughs> How about crook? I skipped into another lesson. Crook. Shook. Foot. Wool. Good. Wood. Hood. Stood. And I know I forgot to remind you teachers to do a spelling test on the words in this lesson. Um, had a, another senior moment. I had a senior moment about using um, cooking oil in making pancakes. And I also had a senior moment in forgetting to remind you to do a spelling test. So Teachers, if you would like, 
after you have the students read these words to you, if you so desire, give them a spelling test on them. Press pause. Now, press pause again, teachers, and have students read these sentences to you. Lesson 72, as advertised, we're going to look at EA combination in words, making the short E sound sometimes in words like bread, dead, head, deaf, meaning you can't hear, deaf, health, and read, like I read a book yesterday. And sometimes they make these uh, two letters, E-A, sometimes make the long E sound, um, I should say the long A sound. You gotta change that. Misrepresenting our sound here. This is the long A sound in words like pair, bear, wear, tear, and break. So we got the long A sound in these words. I need to uh, point some things out here. Um, we've got some words like red that can also be pronounced read. And we've got... Um, Let's see, I don't think I've got the word lead here, but I intended to have the word lead. The word lead, um, you lead a, a student um, to his class when he doesn't know where it is, can also be pronounced lead. So this word can be pronounced read or read. This word can be pronounced lead or lead. Um, you also have the word here, which is tear, but this word could also be pronounced tear. Uh, E-A in the word tear, making its more usual sound of uh, E, tear. These words have um, a name to them. They are called homographs. And homographs are words that can be pronounced two different ways. They have two different meanings, but are spelled the same. So now I will read my book, but yesterday I read my book. Now I will lead my horse to water, but yesterday I led my horse to water. If you uh, cry a tear uh, because you are so upset uh, over an event, that event could tear you up. And that's just an expression for um, cause you to be very emotional about something. So tear, tear. And to remember what a homograph is, it might help to know that the word graph has to do with writing. So these words are written the same. Read and read, lead and lead, tear and tear, they're written the same. 
but they mean something different. And we've already had homophones, if you recall. Homophones are words that are spelled the same. I mean, they're spelled differently and also mean something different, but they sound the same. And phone means, has to do with sound. Like uh, when you're talking on a phone, you know, you're making sounds one to another to communicate. So phone has to do with sound. The sounds are the same. Graph and homograph, graph means writing. They are written the same. And both homophones and homographs have different meanings. It's just that one uh, group is um, spelled differently, and one group is spelled the same. Okay, I don't think all students are going to get that right away. It takes a while. It took me a while, and uh, I'm a teacher. So now I'd like, uh, teachers, for you to have the students read these words to you and then do a spelling test. I underlined five words that I would put on a spelling test if I were giving one. Um, use your judgment. If you want to make any changes, that would be fine. Press pause. Now have the students read these sentences to you silently first, giving you a true and false answer, then out loud, giving you a final true and false answer with their reason. Press pause. Okay, my answers. Anna will wear a bear rug like it's a coat. Well, this is kind of crazy, but I suppose it's possible. So it depends on the imagination of the student. If they can imagine someone, you know, picking up the, the rug and putting it around them like a coat, they put true. If they can't imagine that um, because it's a rug, they'd put false. Number two, Jan is deaf in the left and right ear. Jan cannot hear. This is true. The meaning of the word deaf means can't hear. So we've got two ears, the left one and the right one, and this would be true. Number three, Max needs wheat flour to make bread. This is true. He does well, older students that are well-versed in cooking may know that you can make bread out of rye flour or barley flour, you know. So, this they, they may say it's false. You don't absolutely need wheat flour. But I think uh, for most students, they'd put true. Of course, the younger ones you'd need to explain some things about making bread in order for them to understand that sentence. Number four, Linda cannot see the pear tree. Linda is blind. That is true if Linda's blind and cannot see. Okay, now we are getting gonna get into something that is really weird. We've had some weird things lately. But here's another weird thing. We are going to be studying the bossy R. And when the R comes in, con um, comes in uh, after a vowel like A, and we're going to be dealing with just the vowel A, when it comes after a vowel, it bosses that vowel most of the time to make a different sound. So, here, we don't have the sound like A ah or A. Ah. We've got R. R bosses the AR combination to sound like itself. Art and star. How about that? So, we're going to find out about just how bossy that R can be starting in Lesson 73.